Hey, Bruce, as much as you can, can you update us on uh, any guys that came out of that hurt? I know, you know Jamel Dean um, looked like he got nicked up, and Will Golston is kind of limping off. What, what can you tell us of anything about those guys? Yeah, right now, uh, Jamel's in the uh, protocol. Um, mm -hmm. he, he looks like he's in pretty good shape, so hopefully we can get him out of the protocol by Sunday. And uh, Will's a little patellar tendon issue, so don't know how serious that's going to be. I got to see a couple of days worth of uh, – treatment and, and uh, hopefully hopefully we didn't lose anybody for this next ball game okay and I know we talked a lot about Tom and Gronk yesterday um, it still amazes me I mean you know given the fact that Gronkowski came off the rib injury the back situation um, and, and for them to have 90 touchdowns I mean it just what, what's it like to to see the sort of the unspoken language that those two guys have at times and, and that's how productive they've been together for you. This looks like vintage Brady and Gronk right now. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And they're, they're both, they're both at a really high level right now. So yeah, I mean, that chemistry, that takes time to build. And when you get it, you know, I saw it with Peyton and Marvin and you right. know, rivers and gates, they, the, the guy turns around, there's the ball, you know, and uh, they just look at each other and they know what they want. Doesn't have to be the play called. Uh, just go beat the guys that's trying to guard you. And uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's really fun to watch. Was that touchdown to follow? Was that touchdown a, a uh, was that a hand signal or any kind of verbal or just a look? Yeah, it was kind of eye contact. You know, you got what you're looking for out there. Look, go get it. And uh, they knew what they wanted to do. Yeah. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Greg Almond. Hey, Bruce, I just want to ask you about the uh, third receiver spot. It seemed like a pretty pronounced shift yesterday uh, to get Perriman more involved uh, after kind of having Tyler in that spot for the last month or so. Yeah, uh, it was BP's had a couple of good weeks of practice, and uh, he brings an explosiveness uh, out there. And, uh, you know, it was a game that I, I felt like uh, Tyler's been playing good. Scotty's been playing good. But uh, I wanted to in, um, get him on the field more. Uh, he, he does block well, and he does everything. So it was more just getting him the reps. And also, Bruce, your backup outside linebackers have been very uh, productive last couple of weeks. Another Cam Gill sack. I think Anthony Nelson has two. Um, you're seeing more and more out of them. It seems like they're making a case. I know you don't like taking your starters off the field much, but it seems like they're making a case to get out there more often. There are no doubt. They're earning playing time. And uh, Anthony obviously been getting better and better this year. Cam Gill, every time he gets out there, he makes something happen. Uh, he's a high effort guy and, and he's strong. Uh, so, yeah, they're earning that playing time, and it, uh, I think it's helping the other guys getting a little more rest coming in December now. Thank you. We'll go to Ira Kaufman. Hey, Bruce, when you were in Pittsburgh, you, you coached uh, a guy who's trying to get into the Hall of Fame uh, by the name of Heinz Ward, Bruce. And uh, I'm looking at Chris Godwin week in and week out in terms of just being a gamer, the physicality. Uh, you see any um, connections between uh, – Heinz Ward and Godwin. There's a ton, Ira, a ton. They play the same position. It's the same thing I asked Larry Fitzgerald to do in Arizona. Uh, once you go into that position, you're going to do a lot of grimy blocking, but we're going to get you the ball. And, uh, you know, he, between the numbers, uh, Chris is devastating, but he's also really, really good outside. I mean, he's, that's the thing that separates him from a couple of guys. He's still a really good player outside also. And Bruce, um, you've thrown more balls than any team in this league. And Bruce, you've been sacked the fewest of any team in the league. I mean, that's a hell of a combination. How much of that is Brady? How much of it is the, the guys up front that are protecting him? Uh, it's a combination, Ira. You know, I mean, we get the ball out quick sometimes, but we hold it for a while. Then uh, when we're taking shots down the field, I thought uh, offensive line did a another fabulous job. The running backs did a good job picking up some blitzes and, uh, and giving Tom plenty of time to throw back there and uh you know, if you're gonna throw it 51 times and he doesn't get touched it's not too bad thanks Bruce we'll go to Scott Reynolds hey Bruce so uh, when it comes to to Vita Vea he had his first multi-sack game yesterday you've challenged him to become a better pass rusher this year how has he improved in that area is it shedding blocks quicker new pass rush moves perfecting the moves he has uh, I think Combination of everything you just said. He just worked hard at it. He's got a couple little counter moves now. And just just use that strength. I mean, the guy gave you a ton of strength and just use it. And uh, you know, I think Sue's helping him in that regard also. They uh they're a heck of a combination the way they work together. 
Joe Tryon Shoinka has got three sacks this year, but he's probably missed at least three, including one maybe yesterday. What what is it? Uh, what has to happen for Joe to close the deal on those opportunities? And if I could also get you to comment on how he's progressed as an inside rusher, which is something he really didn't do much of in college and maybe hasn't done much of since the last month or so for you guys. Yeah, just finish the deal, get him on the ground. You know, don't get thrown off. I think sometimes he comes in, he comes a little high. And, uh, you know, you can't hit him low and you can't hit him high. It's, it's just learning that, that strike zone and then getting a big quarterback on the ground and finishing the deal. But, you know, he's doing a heck of a job as an interior pass rusher because of the games and his speed. And when he loops around there, that's a fast dude coming around and stunts, and that's helping Sue and Vita also. Thanks, Bruce. We'll go to Joey Knight. Coach, is there any chance that Richard Sherman could be activated this week and possibly play a little bit Sunday? Who's that? Sherman, Richard Sherman. Uh, there's a possibility. Yeah, uh, he, uh, you know, he's going to start playing. He's start going to start learning safety also. So, you know, that's the beauty of having Sherm here. Is uh, he's a very he's a veteran player can play a lot of positions. So, we'll we'll look at that this week and see if that's a fit for us. And, and we did notice that Sean Murphy Bunning kind of limped off there at the end. Uh, are you hopeful of him playing this week too? Yeah, I don't think he's going to miss any time. We'll go back to Greg Allman. Hey, Bruce, I just want to check in a couple other guys who have been on IR. Um, I think Richard Robinson is eligible to come back. And the one we haven't asked about in a long time is Justin Watson, whether there's a window where he could come back and help you at all this season. Uh, we'll have to wait and see as far as Richard. Um, you know, he was one of our better gunners. And, uh, you know, but obviously we got to start letting people go to get people back on the roster now. That's, right. that's a tough thing to do. And uh, so um, Justin Watson, I doubt it unless – a lot of injuries had to happen. Thanks, Bruce. We'll go to Steve Isbitt. Hey, Coach, could you reflect a little bit on winning 17 out of your last 20 games? Uh, that's actually the best 20-game stretch in franchise history. Yeah, I never really think about it, Steve, that way. It's just the next one. And, and just keep adding them up. Uh, you know, it's December, and we're playing meaningful football, so it's a lot of fun. Um, this is, a, this is a really great group of guys. It's a hell of a coaching staff to be with and a great bunch of players. So, yeah, I mean, um, I, I have never really thought of it like that, but uh, uh, it, it's just it's fun to come to work every day. That's for sure. And during the TV broadcast, uh, the broadcasters mentioned uh, they really emphasized that you were very unhappy with the week of practice last week. Was there something in particular and did the way the team respond uh, on Sunday surprise you at all? Uh, yes and no. I, I think uh, some guys had really poor weeks of practice last week and a couple of them had a poor game that way. And um, something we'll address this week to try to get it corrected. And, uh, you know, I, I a little concern uh, with the run game fits early in that ball game, but Todd did a hell of a job of getting it fixed. We'll go back to Rick Shroud. Bruce, uh, every game, the next this one's the biggest, right? I mean, because that's where you're playing. But the Buffalo Bills, beginning of the season, were picked. You know, they were in the AFC Championship game last year. Um, these next two, you could clinch a division. So what can you say about a nationally, you know, it's going to be one of the big games on, on TV, obviously, this week. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to be a hell of a challenge. You know, when you got a dual-thread quarterback like Josh, it, uh, it's not easy. I mean, they're in empty sets, and you're expecting passes, and they got quarterback powers and quarterback counters and – uh, he, you know, he's their leading rusher just about. And uh, then he can sling it around all those great receivers he has. So it, it is a really big, big challenge defensively for us. Uh, offensively, same thing. I mean, they got a hell of a pass rush and a ton of speed. I think Leslie Frazier is one of the best coaches in the league, as is Sean McDermott. So, yeah, we're going to have our hands full, and we're going to need a lot of fan support. Speaking of being at home, I know the, the turf is hard on everybody. Uh, you look a little – are you doing okay? How's the injury report on, on coach? <laughs> Not very good. I I, uh, I inflamed my Achilles running too much, uh, trying to get back in shape, and uh, it, not feeling too good. Uh, okay. Next, we'll go to J.P. Peterson. Hey, Bruce. Um, I know it's always about the next game, but how much are you guys thinking about – running the table and how important that home field advantage is going to be this year in that number one seed vis-a-vis -vis the difference between playing in an NFC championship game in Lambeau Field in late January and the comfy confines of Raymond James. 
Yeah, I mean, you don't really talk about it. You know, it's uh, if you start thinking about January, you're going to get your ass beaten. You'll be playing on the road for sure. So it's just take care of every day's business. You know, only thing we can do is take care of Wednesday's practice and Wednesday's meetings and one day at a time. And uh, and we'll add them all up at the end. But uh, everybody knows how important that is. Uh, we're sitting at the three seed right now. And uh, each win, each game really matters. And it's fun. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. We have time for a few more. Next, we'll go to Ira Kaufman. Hey, Bruce, you know, you, you're going to be uh, booking a, a, a flight to Canton for, for Brady and, and, and for Gronkowski. But, Bruce, the more you look at Nadama Kamsu, I mean, the guy never misses a game. He's a total professional. Bruce, he, he's building a little case for a gold jacket. Oh, I'd say he's got a big case, Ira. Yeah. I mean, if you talk about consistency and great level of play for a long, long time, I don't know how many people have done it better than Sue. I mean, uh, he's still a handful, and uh, he's got a regiment on Noah's house, just like Tom. They know how to take care of themselves. That uh, they're, they're in peak form on Sunday, and uh, I don't mess with either one of them. Just get out there on Sunday and play your ass off. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. Last question will come from J.C. Allen. Hey, Bruce, uh, I know, you know, getting the guys rolling in the running game is a is an emphasis on what you guys are trying to do. But it seems week in and week out, uh, sometimes, you know, you're, you're putting yourself in the disadvantaged positions with a, a second and nine and a, and a second and eight. Uh, is there any, you know, w way that you're looking at the play calling on those on those running downs on first on first down? No, just better execution. I mean, we ran the ball really, really well last week on first and second down. And uh, we had a couple of chances for chunks this week, and we just slipped a block or get a bad path by the back. But, uh, no, I'm not concerned with the running game at all. All right. That's all we have time for. Appreciate you taking time, Coach. Thank you, guys.